Do you ever feel like your iPhone owns you rather than the other way around? Are you constantly distracted by notifications and doom scrolling? Well, if you're anything like me, you've probably seen ads for a product like Brick or something else that's supposed to help you stay focused and stop getting distracted by your phone. Well, I wanted to see if there was a way that we could replicate the function of one of these tools using just Apple shortcuts and focus modes. And I think that I came up with something pretty unique that actually helps me stay focused and not get distracted by my phone. So let me show you how it works and how I built it. Let's get into it. So let me start by showing you exactly what I built on my phone to help reduce the distractions and eliminate the desire to doom scroll until the end of the day. What I'm gonna do is swipe down up top and change my focus mode to bricked. You'll see when I go here, I've now got a very minimal home screen. I've got six apps here and then four along the bottom. If I swipe to the right, no additional screens. It takes me directly to my app library. But if I click on something that I probably shouldn't be doing when I need to stay focused, like Reddit, takes me right out of it. Maybe I wanna click on YouTube, takes me right out of it. I do not have the ability to get into specific apps when I'm in the bricked focus mode. And it's great because when my phone is locked, it also hides all of the notifications that I would normally get, unless it's from someone incredibly important. So let's talk about how we can build this for you to eliminate distractions and notifications. So to begin doing this, I'm gonna create a new home screen and lock screen. If you've been on this channel before, you see me do this a handful of times. We're gonna swipe down, we're gonna hold, and we're gonna create a new screen. So let's go here, let's add a new one. Let's do this nice black and white image here. I'm gonna remove anything that might be distracting here. That's great, I'm gonna add it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna customize the home screen as well. I'm gonna choose a photo. I'm gonna choose that photo that I created specifically for this. Click done there. And we'll click done. And there it is. So now we've created this. So let's select it and let's go to our home screen. So far, we're not looking so good, but we're making progress. So next, what I'm gonna do is swipe to the right and create a new home screen. So let's go all the way over here. I'm gonna click and hold. And we're gonna create a new home screen with six apps. These are the six apps that I'm going to allow myself to use during or while I'm in this specific focus mode. So what I'll do is go over to the side. I'll grab my email app and we'll place it in there. Maybe I need YouTube Studio. We'll bring that over here and we'll grab a few more. Once we've selected our apps here, it still doesn't look quite right. So I'm gonna click and hold and turn to jiggle mode. I click edit here and what I'm gonna do is make these large icons and I'm gonna make them dark just to fit the aesthetic a bit more. Now you can see they fit into the aesthetic, all is right with the world. It still isn't connected to any focus mode or anything like that. So let's start to get into the technical details of how this works. Next, we're gonna go into settings and we're gonna create a focus mode that's gonna allow you to eliminate those distractions and notifications when you need to be focused. So here, I've gone ahead and opened up settings. I've clicked focus modes here. I'm gonna create a new one. We're going to call this study. Change the color and icon and we'll create it. There we go, that's great. So now from here, you can choose the people that you either want to block notifications from or the people that you want to allow notifications to come through. I'm just gonna pick a few apps though. So we'll go here, we'll click choose apps. I'm gonna toggle these off and I'm gonna add a few more. So I'll click add. Okay, once we've got our apps added, we'll click done here. And then what we're gonna do is attach the custom screens that we just created to this focus mode. So if I click choose right here on the home screen, we'll click that dark one that we did right there. Same thing goes for the home screen. We're gonna click choose. We're gonna choose that last one right there. So now things are gonna start to look better here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna exit from out of here. And then now if we change our focus mode to study mode, you'll see now we've got that one screen. That's great. And we've got nothing else. So now we've got our great aesthetic, we've got our minimal wallpaper, we've got the focus mode, and now we need to go into shortcuts and automations to make it so you actually stop getting distracted. So let's do that next. 
Okay, so we are in the Shortcuts app and we're going to create our shortcut that's going to start blocking apps. So we're gonna go ahead and click Add New and we're gonna start, let's rename it here. Let's call this Study Focus. That's great, we could change the icon, but next we want to start adding in the steps required. So we're gonna type Get Focus Mode here. So there we go, Get current focus. Then we're going to add an if statement. So if the focus mode is currently set, then it needs to trigger or do something. So we'll click if. And I want to change this. I don't need icon. I want this to be the name is study. So we're saying if the current focus mode is named study, then it's going to need to do something. So what I'm going to have it do here, we'll click done. Now we're going to add another one and we're going to have it show a notification. So I'm going to click show notification here. We're going to put that in right under and we're going to say you should be you should be studying. There we go. And then what we're going to do is add a wait. We'll put that up there. And then we're gonna have a go to home screen. We're gonna put that under there. So just to recap exactly what we did there, it's gonna get your current focus mode. If the name is study, then what it's gonna do is show a notification that says you should be studying. It's gonna wait one second and then it's gonna take you back to your home screen. We'll click done. We've now got that study focus. That's still not going to automatically trigger. There was nothing in there that told it when a specific app opens that it needs to trigger that focus. So now what we need to do is create an automation that will automatically run that. So what we're gonna do is jump over here to automations. We're gonna create a new one here and we're gonna search for app. We'll click on that. We're gonna say when a specific app. This is gonna show every single app on your phone. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go down the list of apps and select any app that is distracting to you. Any app that you click on when you should be doing work or you should be focused or you should be reading or studying, you wanna check that so that way it's going to trigger this notification for you. So if I just go down the line, I'm gonna end up checking most of the apps. You know, So I'll just keep on going down the line. You get the point. We'll click done. Then we wanna check is opened. We want it to run immediately and we do not want it to notify us when it runs. So then we will click next here. And then what we want it to do is we want it to use our study focus shortcut. So you'll see right here, when any of these 14 apps are open, it needs to automatically run the study focus shortcut. So let's test our work. Here I am, I'm on my home screen. If I swipe down, you can see that we are in the study focus mode. That's great. And now I'm gonna try and open up a distracting app. Let's say Reddit here. I'll go ahead and click on it. It says you should be studying and it closes the app. Maybe let's try YouTube. We try and open it and nope, that is not going to work. But the great thing is if I just swipe down, I turn off that focus mode. I'm now back to my normal home screen and I could click and go into any of those apps. So for example, if I open up YouTube here again, I'm back in my video and I am not logged out. But if I go into the focus mode, change it to study mode, and I try and open up YouTube, it will not let me in, it backs me out every time. Now no, this is not going to be an end all be all that prevents me from using my phone entirely, but it's a great way to start my day turn on that specific focus mode, and then I've got a limited number of apps and notifications to distract me. If I ever need to get into those apps, I can just change the focus mode, but it creates enough friction for me to actually be focused throughout the day on what I need to be. So I hope you learned something new. I hope this was an interesting video and I will see you in the next one.